Hi, welcome to Digitizer. So today we are going to learn the lathe modifier in 3ds Max. Uh, before that, we'll check with the shapes here, the splines option here, the line, rectangle and all. And uh, I would request you to check with our previous video which is on the interface. Uh, there you will learn a little about the standard primitives, box, cone, spear and all and uh, edit poly and about the viewport configuration. So right now when you go to create here we have the shapes. These are the 2D shapes. So we have splines, nerves, curves, extended splines. These three all are the same options. So we are going to see the splines and you can check with the nerves, curves and the extended splines. So we have line, rectangle, circle, ellipse and all. So I'm going to place a rectangle, click here and I'm drawing it in the viewport. When you check in the rendering option, there are two options which is enable in renderer and enable in viewport. So this is the viewport which you see. Renderer is, you click on this teapot here which says render production and this is the renderer. See you cannot see the rectangle or the 2D spline here. For that you have to enable this option which is enable in renderer. So now hit on enter, enter again and you can see this rectangle 2D shape. So now if it's enabled in viewport you can also see this rectangle shape in the viewport. So make sure this these two options are checked in while you are working with splines. So you can check with the other options which is circle, ellipse, arc, donut, engine, star. Text is click on it and in the front view I am clicking here. This is a default text, max text. So you can change it, go to modify here and you can see the parameters option. You can change the style. You can underline it if you want. Change the size of the text. Change the spacing between the text. And change the name of the text. I name it as CMS. Also change the color from here. So now you see the render view. The text is seen. So next is the section. That's the interesting part. Any 3D shapes you model in 3ds Max. You can take a 2D section of the 3D object which you model here. So, for example, here I am drawing a teapot and clicking on the section and drawing a section in the front view. Hit W. Check in left view whether the section is placed on the teapot. So it's absolutely placed. Now go to the modify and here we have create shape. You can name a shape. Click on OK. You can see here section of the teapot is formed here. You go to the renderer. You can see this is the 2D shape of the 3D object which is a teapot. Next is click on line. And there are multiple options in the line. So as of now, I am unchecking these two options. And when you click on the vertex, you can select the vertex and you can modify it. And you can right click and you have multiple options like busier corner where you have the handles to adjust the green color handles. And we have another option which is Bezier. So in this way you can change the lines using the Bezier and the Bezier corner. We have other options which is corner and next is a smooth. When you come down you have the same options here like uh, how you want the line to be a smoother one or the Bezier or the corner. So you can check with these options uh, before you create a line in the viewport. I'm drawing a plane in the standard primitives. You can see plane in the viewport. And 
type M for material editor. Uh, as I told you in the previous video, like uh, we give multiple materials like the wood, metal and other stuff with the help of these material editor. Other than that, you can just uh, click here and you can change the color of the object, whatever you draw on the viewport. So now I'm going to place a picture here. So click on the diffuse, this button here and click on bitmap and I have this picture here so I'm going to model this flower vase and to see it in the viewport assign material to selection and click on this show shaded material in viewport now what happens is you can see the uh, flower vase picture in the perspective but in the wireframe you cannot see it it's because it's in the wireframe mode so now click here you have the shaded mode so now you can see the flower vase here in the front view and go to tools grids and snaps show home grid so uh, if you uncheck the grid here it will be easy for you to you know draw the spline and give the lathe modifier so we're going to do that shapes line and drawing on the shape of this object so uh, always keep in mind that keep some reference images for you to work or model because it'd be easy for you to model if you have any reference images in the beginning of course so I'm gonna click here right click and give smooth so now it's smooth so in this way you can adjust the vertices we have another option which is refine you can click here and you can add vertices also you can adjust the vertices with the help of the bezier corner which i told you earlier right click and you have bezier the bezier corner right now i'm only clicking on smooth because already uh, the lines which i've drawn is it's it's kind of smooth so i'm not using the handles but you can use it depends upon how you want the object to be so in this way you can model cups I'm going to click on vertex select all the vertices and right click and give on smooth so it becomes smooth so now we have the option in the modifier list type L and you have the lathe option you can see you know uh, the object is like this but don't worry come down you can see the minimum click on that you can see the object is made so now all W and you can see the flower vase is done when I click on the render button you can see uh, the shape is perfect but sometimes what happens is due to the normals uh, you cannot see the perfect shape so do not worry for that for that you can click on flip normals and you can see the perfect shape so in this way you can uh, draw some flowers uh, and uh, have some cylinders here to represent this as a flower base so you can also draw these objects with the help of the lathe modifier to learn more in detail please register to our website which is www.digitizer.in and for more updates subscribe to this channel thank you for watching